What's up, Lockdown Legion? Welcome back to Nerds on Lockdown. Once again, thank you for uh, joining the program. I am Chris. Um, back with you today to talk about a very controversial subject that's been going on in the gaming world lately. And uh, that's on Cyberpunk 2077, obviously. Excuse the green screen um, effect there. Um, now, uh, today I want to uh, acknowledge the fact that I am talking about my own experience only. And I am not talking about uh, what you may have experienced um, and I am coming from a place where I'm playing it on the Xbox Series X right now. Um, and I know people have been having uh, problems with the core systems, such as the PS4 and the original Xbox. Uh, even the Xbox One and the PS4 Pro, I guess, are having some issues here. Um, and some glitches and crashes and things like that. Um, so I want to get on into it. And before we get into it, uh, just uh, I want to remind you guys, if you uh, haven't subscribed already, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. Uh, but without further ado, um, let's get into it. Now, Cyberpunk uh, just came out not too, uh, what, about almost a week now, um, <clears throat> uh, four or five days ago, something like that. Um, it, it launched on the 10th, so uh, four days ago, yeah. And um, as as of the recording, uh, of this recording. Um, and uh, to be honest with you, uh, my first impressions of the game, uh, when I sat down, I, you know, I waited for that download to go and that extra patch to go in um it's a big game um and uh it is a vast world and i can tell you right off the bat that um doesn't look as good as i thought it was or what they had showed us in that e3 2018 trailer no um obviously that stuff was uh, pre-rendered running on you know what i mean a pc uh, high-end stuff and um of course it's not going to look as good as what a trailer uh, always puts out i mean that's just the reality of the thing um was i still excited for the game yeah of course and i still am excited for the game and that brings me to the fact that i'm having a blast with the game and once again i am coming from a viewpoint of playing on the series x so i'm not having as many bugs or crashes or uh you know things like everybody else is on the core systems um i've run into a couple of problems uh i've run into um the game freezing and i had to reset it one time uh since i've got it um i've also um come into a, a problem where maybe like a rogue car somewhere is like crashing into another car. it's you know what i mean um i will say that uh from what they showed us to uh the streets it's not very vastly populated like they said it was going to be um the uh i will say that the one very useless function in the game uh, from my perspective is the um, is the uh, the crafting section um, I still haven't used it yet and the reason why is because I can get everything I need off of any of the enemies I defeat uh, I just pick up whatever I need um, and usually I end up selling all that stuff because I don't have room you know in my backpack for it you know whatnot and I just you know keep the, the highest you know level guns there um, some of the enemies are very hard if you're going into uh, an area where it says, you know, very hard if you're doing one of the side missions. Um, it's extremely tough sometimes. Um, and I can't wait for them to add in, like, maybe an online co-op. It, it would make the game a lot easier, a lot, you know. I, I Better to play if you're, you know, running around that world with <clears throat> somebody else. Um, the character customization is, is, is very detailed and it's really cool. Um, and... Uh, you know, I just, I think what it is, I don't want people to sleep on this game and I don't want people to, you know, bypass this game just because it's having some issues. You know, The Witcher 3 came out, same company, CD Projekt Red, had problems. It was laggy, it, you know, but they fixed those problems. It became one of the greatest games, you know, to, you know, that we've played in a long time. Um, this game is going to be the same way, guys. You know, uh, this happens nowadays. Um, give it a chance, please. It's, it's a really good game. Um... I love the storyline so far. Um, I'm about 10 to 12 hours in at this point. Um, and uh, I've been uh, going back and doing all the side missions now. Um, and it, I can say that the, the, the bulk and the meat of the the gameplay is in the side missions and getting all the money and, you know, or your ed, they're called eddies in the game um, to go and, you know, do your, your normal missions and, to be honestly, uh, to be honest with you guys, it is uh, it is a fantastic uh, time. Um, I'm having a blast. Um, 
what they described is it what they described no you know what i mean i guess that's what the 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 big controversy is over it you know that and the glitches but i mean they're they're bringing out more patches coming out here and in, in in a week they said just give it time guys give it time um i promise you it's going to be an amazing game um it, it, and it is to me i mean at this point i i'm really having fun with it and i think that's all you can ask for in a game is to have fun um you know so uh you guys uh you know meet you in night city and uh you guys take care don't forget to subscribe once again and uh i'll see you guys on the flip side see ya peace